that's going to work. If that's going to work. If that's going to work. doesn't work if that's going to if that's going to work if that's going to work if that's going to that's going to if that's going to if that's going to Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Have you ever met Hans... I have a few vague memories of him, that is all. I was very young at the time. <laughs> Very young. If you don't mind, can we come back to that later? Have you ever met Hans Varlberg? I have a few vague memories. At the tavern, I met a young boy by the name of Momo. I was informed that he is mentally disabled. Whatever his condition, he told me about a man called Hans. He's apparently Madame Varlberg's brother. Moreover, it appears that Hans is not actually dead. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Let us take one thing at a time, Miss Walker. You will receive all the information you need in due course, you can be sure of that. That is a magnificent automaton you have at your entrance. I'm very proud of it. And since my health problems, it has become absolutely indispensable for me. Yes, indispensable. It was Anna Vorlberg who had the idea. She provided many houses with this kind of machinery. You don't find it suspicious that Madame Varlberg left us so suddenly? Hmm. Her death took us by surprise. She still seemed to have so much life left in her. I would have loved to have met her. Anna Varlberg was not only one of my most faithful clients, she was also a very dear friend. Uh, 
Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. <clears throat> I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time, it was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Barlberg is not dead, I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Barlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation in legal terms is not clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Oh no, I forgot.